Hello everyone. Now let us discuss about manifestation codes for diabetes mellitus part 1. So before going into the codes, let us discuss the convention with. With is a type of convention which we will find in the first chapter. Here the word with or in should be interpreted to means associated with or due to. Whenever you find with, you need to interpret that those two conditions are associated or one condition is due to other condition and when it appears in the code title which we can see in the alphabetical index under the main term or the sub term or in an instructional note in the table are list in these two places we will find with and the classification presumes a cause and effect relationship causal ex relationship between two conditions that are linked by these terms in the alphabetical index or the table are list. So whenever two terms are related with with or due to or in, you need to assume that those two conditions are associated conditions. And these conditions should be coded as related. This is an important point. These conditions should be coded as related even in the absence of provider documentation explicitly linking them though the physician does not intentionally link them together you need to assume a cause and effect relationship and you need to code them together unless 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 the documentation clearly states that these conditions are unrelated if the documentation clearly states that these conditions are unrelated then you need not consider this or when another guideline exists there are two cases or two exceptions for the with whenever the documentation clearly states that these two conditions are unrelated then you need to quote them separately or when another guideline exists that they specifically require a documented linkage between two conditions in these two cases you need to look for the provider documentation if the provider clearly states that they are unrelated you need to quote them as unrelated condition and if there is another guideline that exists that specifically requires a documented evidence in such cases you need to query the provider whether they are related or not except in these two cases in all the cases whenever you find with you need to assume that those two conditions are associated or due to and one condition is a result of another condition due to means one condition is a result of another condition in the current session we will be discussing with an example of diabetes mellitus and we will discuss all the manifestation codes of the diabetes mellitus except retinopathy retinopathy we will be discussing in the next part so here you can see in the alphabetical index under diabetes you can find with with indicates those two conditions are associated here for example amylotrophy amylotrophy is due to diabetes mellitus hence the combination code 11.44 similarly cataract cataract is due to diabetes mellitus so the code is 11.39 and CKD. CKD means chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is due to diabetes mellitus and the code is 11.22. So whenever you find with or due to, you need to assume a cause and effect, cause and effect relationship between the two conditions. That is the ground rule. Now let us see the codes for type 2 diabetes or diabetes NOS. For type 2 and diabetes NOS, there is only one category that is E11 series. So here we will be discussing only the E11 series. We know that different types of diabetes are there and different types will have different codes. For example, E10 is for type 1, E9, E8 and E13. So these are the code series for diabetes mellitus. In the current session, we will be focusing only on diabetes mellitus NOS or type 2. So for diabetes mellitus, NOS with amylotrophy, the code is E11.44. 
and for diabetic arthropathy NEC, the code is E11.618. And for diabetes mellitus with autonomic neuropathy or polyneuropathy, the code is E11.43, autonomic polyneuropathy. Autonomic neuropathy or autonomic polyneuropathy. Because for simple polyneuropathy, there is another code. For autonomic neuropathy or autonomic polyneuropathy, the code is E11.43. And for diabetic cataract, the code is E11.39. And for charcoal's joint with diabetes, diabetes mellitus with charcoal's joints, the code is E11.610. And for diabetes mellitus with chronic kidney disease, the code is E11.22. In this case, you need, you need to code another code for stage of CKD. Code also the CKD stage which comes under the series N18.12, N18.6. And for diabetes mellitus with circulatory complication NEC, the code is E11.59. And for diabetes mellitus with complication, unspecified complication, the code is E11.8. And for specified complication, diabetes mellitus with specified complication, the code is E11.69. Here you need to code the complication also. For unspecified complication of diabetes mellitus, the code is E11.8. The next is diabetes mellitus with the dermatitis. The code is E11.620. Next is diabetes mellitus with foot ulcer. In foot ulcer also two codes are required. One code to indicate diabetes mellitus with foot ulcer that is E11.621 and second code to indicate the foot ulcer code. Code also the foot ulcer code which comes under the category L97.42, L97.5. These two are further expandable. The next is diabetes mellitus with gangrene. The code is E11.52. Next, gastro, diabetes mellitus with gastroparalysis or gastroparesis. The code is E11.43. And for diabetes mellitus with glomerulonephrosis intracapillary or glomerulosclerosis intercapillary, for both of them, the code is E11.21. The next is diabetes mellitus with hyperglycemia. The code is E11.21. 65. The next is diabetes mellitus with hyperosmolarity. The code is E11.00. And for hyperosmolarity with coma, diabetes mellitus with hyperosmolarity with coma, the code is E11.01. Without coma, it is E11.00. And with coma, it is E11.01. The next is diabetes mellitus with hypoglycemia. The code is E11.01. 649. For hypoglycemia, the code is E11.65. And for hypoglycemia, the code is E11.649. Next is hypoglycemia with coma. The code is E11.641. Next, diabetes mellitus with ketoacidosis. The code is E11.10. And for ketoacidosis with coma, the code is E11.11. Next is kidney complication NEC. NEC means not elsewhere classifiable. The code is E11.29. And for diabetes mellitus with Kimmelstil Wilson's disease, the code is E11.21. The next is diabetes mellitus NOS with mononeuropathy. The code is E11.41. And for diabetes mellitus with myasthenia, the code is E11.44. The next is diabetes mellitus with necrobiosis lipoidica. The code is E11.620. Next, coming to type 2 diabetes mellitus with nephropathy. Type 2 diabetes mellitus or diabetes mellitus NOS with nephropathy, the code is E11.21. And for diabetes with neuralgia, the code is E11.42. And diabetes with neurologic complication, other neurologic complication, NEC, not elsewhere classifiable. In simple words, other neurological complication, the code is E11.49. And for neuropathic arthropathy, the code is E11.610. And for simple neuropathy, the code is E11.40. Diabetes mellitus with neuropathy, the code is E11.40. And for ophthalmic complication, NEC, not elsewhere classifiable, the code is E11.39. Here you need to use additional code to identify the complication or manifestation. 
such as diabetic glaucoma. So whenever the patient presents with diabetic glaucoma, first you need to code E11.39, then followed by respective glaucoma codes, which come under the category H42, H42. Next, oral complication with NEC. This is important point, ophthalmic complication NEC, because you cannot find glaucoma in width. But if you go for tabular index, you can find this node. Use additional code to identify the manifestation such as diabetic glaucoma. So whenever the patient presents with diabetic glaucoma, simply you should not give the glaucoma codes. First, you need to code 11.39 and then followed by glaucoma codes. Next, oral complication NEC. The code is E11.638. And for diabetes mellitus with osteomyelitis, the code is E11.69. And for diabetes mellitus with periodontal disease, the code is E11.630. Next, coming to diabetes mellitus with peripheral angiopathy, the code is E11.51. And for peripheral angiopathy with gangrene, the code is E11.52. And for diabetes mellitus with polyneuropathy, the code is E11.42. And for diabetes mellitus with renal complication, NEC, not elsewhere classifiable, the code is E11.29. And similarly, for renal tubular degeneration, for that case also, the code is E11.29. In simple words, any other kidney-related complication or renal complication apart from CKD or simple nephropathy, you need to code E11.29. Next, unspecified retinopathy. Unspecified diabetes mellitus with unspecified retinopathy, the code is E11.319. Under retinopathy, you will have other codes also that we will discuss in the next part. Next, coming to skin, com skin complication, NEC, the code is E11.628. And skin complication, skin ulcer, sorry. Skin ulcer, NEC, here also you need to code two codes, E11.622. First code must be E11.622 followed by code for ulcer site. Code also the ulcer site, which comes under the category L97.12, L97.9 and also L98.412, L98.49. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CBC training.